It is beautiful. Uh, sun is rising. We've got a high tide coming in. Water's about 72 degrees. Awesome. Springtime. Woohoo! <laughs> And uh, we're looking for Pompano. We've got a lot of no -seums out here biting you, so make sure you bring your bug spray. You always got to bring your bug spray. These things are... Oh, I even got one. <laughs> Look at that. Man. Bring your bug spray. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I just want to let you know that the surf conditions in Northeast Florida have been absolutely terrible. Yeah, unfortunately, our surf has been like as dark as chocolate milk. Um, I had a five out, I had a four ounce Sputnik come back to the beach. I threw it out there and it kept coming back to the beach. The current was ripping. I threw out a five ounce Sputnik. Five ounce was coming back in. Oh dang, oh dang. We, we, we got a substantial fish on, I don't wanna lose it. It's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. Oh. I think it was definitely a shark. That was definitely a shark. It bit me off. It took the whole rig, everything. Um, I've, I've been fishing. I've been out there every day. I've been trying to make a video for you guys. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I have tons of footage of absolutely nothing. Big Easter eggs. Big Easter eggs. So um, we're going to do a catfish catch and cook because that's what I've caught and that's what we're going to eat and that's what we're going to do. And thanks for tuning in and hopefully um, you enjoy this video. So here we go. See this little rabbit coming through here? Little bunny. Oh, how cute. <laughs> There's the Easter bunny. Easter Bunny is right there. I know one thing though, not good conditions for catching pompano. So I highly, highly doubt we will do that today. But that's okay. We're having a good day. Still have another, uh, we still have low tide coming up. We're going to fish all the way through low tide. So we'll see what happens at the tide change. Nice. Cool. Happy birthday. This is Alex is my brother. It's his 30th birthday. Come over here to the, uh, the East Coast from Tampa. Oh, well, there you go. That's your first actual keeper kind of fish. Keeper? Yeah. Well, you don't have to keep it. Yeah, that's a good hit. We'll get this whiting back. Alex is getting a good pop. There you go. Let's see you later. Alex is getting a good pop off this one. I mean, the water's still muddy, so I'm hoping it's not another catfish, but at the same time, we'll take it. Alex, for your birthday, man. Double up. All right. That's a whiting and a catfish. Right on, man. That's the biggest whiting of the day so far. It's about uh, nine inches, nine and a half inches. <laughs> too, small. too small. Watch those barbs on that little catfish by your hand. That thing hurts, boy. Fish on, fish on. That's a fish. That's a fish. Alex Cook this is my brother. What's up? The Tampa Bay Cookie Monster. That's right. Believe it or not, he's got a red-headed brother. <laughs> oh, oh man. Another rig caught. Oh, you got a whiting. And it and it crossed the line again. Dang. We got a whiting. All right. It's a good size whiting. You want to keep it? Good. Huh? Good. All right. We'll let him go. I want you to try and catch a whiting smaller than this can you look at that little guy good lord we we'll get him back all right let's see what we got this time oh. got a whiting but i'm not keeping i mean you could even eat this guy but i'm not keeping it not today 
We'll see you later. Get you back. Right now we're on a full moon. The, the current is ripping so hard. I, I can't even keep a five ounce Sputnik out there. It is coming back into the surf, right back to me. This is ridiculous. So I'm just chilling, got my umbrella here. Wow, what a tough day. All right, here's the update. It is nine o'clock. High tide is closer to 10 o'clock. Uh, so we do have an incoming tide. The water clarity, we're looking at a two out of 10 clear. It is disgusting. Uh, but I'm not seeing any catfish, so that's good. Uh, the current is ripping so hard, I cannot keep a five ounce Sputnik. A five ounce, I can't keep it in the surf. It keeps coming back to me. And my opinion is if you can't, if you have to use a five ounce Sputnik to keep your bait out there and you're fishing for Pompano, you might as well quit because five ounces is too much weight. It'll just rip, ah, rip their mouths right out. It'll be so hard to keep them um, on the hook. Also, if your bait is not staying out there, try taking your floats off because a lot of time the surf will grab those floats and it, it'll just, it'll add in the uh, movement of your rig. So take the floats off, try to go less is more. Um, you're gonna wanna use braid for something like this. Cast out as far as you can. Use like 20 to 30 pound braid. Zing it out there. We got ourselves a whiting, all right. Finally. Wow, that's a beautiful one too. Dang, all right. Yeah, that's beautiful. It almost looks like a redfish. It's great. I'll let it go. I've got a lot of this white crab left over. So I'm just gonna use this. I mean, since we're catching catfish anyway, I'm just gonna use this. Yep, I caught the catfish on the crab. As to be expected. Okay. We're gonna take this guy home. What are you gonna do? We're gonna do a catch and cook with this big old gaffin catfish. Yeah. All right, we're back at the house. We're gonna make some catfish. Some top sail catfish. This recipe is awesome, okay? All right, in a mixing bowl, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one cup of all-purpose flour and to your liking, uh, this is spicy seafood seasoning, garlic powder, black pepper, pink Himalayan sea salt. I use pink, you can use whatever you like. I choose pink. And you're just gonna mix it all up in this bowl, get it all nice and stirred up. Add your raw fish nuggets to it. And then we're gonna do the egg wash process. All right, we're gonna air fry at 350 for eight minutes on the bake setting. Or you can do air fry setting, you just have to watch it and flip it. But here's what we got. We got, first we started with some flour. I put salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of this spicy seafood seasoning in here. And then we go once in here, egg wash, cornmeal. <laughs> we already did it, but here it is. Final product. And we are gonna just bake these at that, at that level. So I don't know if anybody else does this, but I do this. I take the uh, baking tray out of the air fryer and then I put it in. there so at the halfway point if it is on a timer you're gonna flip you're gonna flip them 
And when you flip all of them, we're gonna then give them a coating of olive oil spray, okay? So flip all of them and then we'll do it. And now that they're all flipped, a good shake. Just gonna coat the tops. And the reason why we're coating the tops of these is because we don't want them to burn for one, but also it'll give it a nice crispiness. So we got about three minutes left and we'll do it like that. Looking good. Catfish nuggets. Let's break one up. Ooh, juicy. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Just a little dipping tartar sauce and boom. That's good. Good stuff. It doesn't taste fishy at all. It doesn't taste fishy at all. It tastes like um, catfish, fried catfish. No big deal. Bleed out your fish. Cook it that day. No problem. <laughs> Very good, guys. Oh yeah. Now there might be a better tartar sauce out there, but this is the one that I really like a lot. I can get I get this at Publix. It is the Louisiana style. It's so it's so good. So it, it is what it is. You gotta just sometimes fishing's like that. You just gotta wait it out. I am gonna go out tonight, so the next video you see, hopefully we will catch out. You know catch some decent sized fish and decent things to catch so anyway guys keep it reeling we'll see you next time With me,